We all post our skin online and it was crazy that I just walked in. Happy birthday to you! And you can tell that I um, like the look of the brand. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just here to give some context to this video and I want to make it make sense. So essentially this video starts with me a little bit upset. Um, I'm realizing like I need to do something about like the way I'm feeling and I need to kind of get out of this rut um, and I kind of filmed it to you know give myself that responsibility to actually sort myself out so that went on for a while and that kind of all makes sense and then there will be a big jump in time because Basically, after this first part of the video, I thought I was doing fine, and then it all kind of happened again. So I just kind of made one big video out of this, but I will keep jumping in to make sure everyone knows what's going on. I just kind of wanted to share this, be transparent with everyone about, like, people's lives aren't perfect, you know? My life is definitely not perfect. There are things that I need to work on and learn and, you know... So, yeah, I just wanted to share this part of my life with you guys. But, yeah. So let's get on with the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You might be able to tell from my eyes, I'm not really sure. I I don't I don't really know what's going on with me to be honest. I think I do, but I am just in such like not even a rut, but just like such not a good headspace. And I know I need to do something about it. And to be honest, filming it and like making it into something productive, because me filming is productive because I could do something with it, kind of makes it a bit easier for me to like sort it out um, and like makes me a bit more motivated to sort it out. Um, I mean, I do think like a lot of you that have probably watched um, my recent videos have like kind of been getting the vibe that I just have been quite overwhelmed and stressed lately. Um, and it's just kind of gotten to a point now because I've I've been at home for the past few days and I know I'm going back to uni tomorrow and I start uni again on Monday it's just kind of the overwhelm of like and like I've got just so much to do but I definitely do need to just kind of sit down and plan and things so I thought I would just kind of make a little video of it kind of getting out of a rut and also I just kind of want to normalize that like people's lives aren't perfect sharing this on tiktok or sharing this on instagram like it's so vulnerable because people have like because it's such short form content people make assumptions so quickly and nasty comments so quickly whereas to me like youtube is just such a safe space um where i can share things like this um but yeah i just i've been having like a bit of a hard time lately um especially because i feel like lots of people and like family members and stuff like everyone's being so supportive and saying like you're doing so well I know you're gonna go so far and like even though that's so kind and so positive the insinuation that I'm gonna go far kind of puts I think it's just the way that I internalize these things and it comes from like my own issues and insecurities but it just it makes me feel so much pressure because I already put so much pressure on myself I'm like god like people think I'm gonna do well and I can't do well like I'm just so hard on myself <sighs> yeah also do you want to see my jelly cat that I bought because that was a bit heavy I don't want people to come to my channel and feel stressed and depressed <laughs> but I'm just trying to be I'm just trying to be honest um but look at my cute jelly cat I got the Christmas version I saw Chintzia bought I don't know if it was this one I think it might have been um, but they've brought out like a couple that have got um, earmuffs on and it's called Toasty. <laughs> so cute. I think stage one is, as I said, planning. But I um, did buy a papier work journal um, the other day and a bullet planner. So I think I'm probably going to get myself some food. Get myself. I've had some magnesium today, which I normally have before sleep, just because like I was just so like anxious and like magnesium like calmed you down. Um. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna like try and unwind. I think I need to have a shower and wash my hair, and then we're gonna go from there. Reminder: be gentle with yourself. Like everyone is struggling with something. Like I promise you, everyone's struggling with something. 
Hi guys, it's a little bit later now. I've had my dinner. If you can hear my um, laptop overheating, please ignore that. But I'm feeling a little bit better. I kind of had the evening off my phone and I was just writing in my diary. I've basically just written in my diary like all the times, like when I've got uni and what I should be doing kind of at each time. I'm not planning to like hugely stick to like the hours of like stuff because obviously stuff comes up but say if i've got like five hours of work to do and three hours of chill it just means that i make sure that i actually do those proportions um but i think i'm just going to bring you along with me this week with all of the stuff that i'm going to be doing to try and like support my mental health and kind of stay in the flow of things um i'm currently just like sorting out a youtube video because um, I think I'm going to post this one tomorrow if like it actually uploads and stuff it's being a bit annoying um, also major life hack for when I'm on meetings and stuff I can just put that on and have this much amount like have this amount of light when I don't actually because I'm sat on my bed in the dark like a loser <laughs> um, but yeah so it's Saturday the 28th of October right now and it's my dog's second birthday tomorrow, so cute. I might show you a couple clips of his birthday because it's just gonna be so adorable. Um, but I go home tomorrow at midday back to London. So yeah, this week is probably gonna be a bit of a juggling act. Just trying to get my routines down, my morning routine, waking up at the same time every day, going to sleep at the same time, just getting the essentials down. But my camera's gonna die, so I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Ready, here. <laughs> Open your present. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bertie. Happy birthday to you. Hey guys, I'm back at uni, even though from the looks of this, it may look like I'm not being very productive right now. I've got home, I hoovered, I cleaned everything. I've literally just prepped about 10 videos for this week and like I always really struggle to do that. It's gonna die still. But yeah, I'm mostly just trying to clean all my space so that I have a clean space for this week because it's Monday tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on with all of this and then I'll chat to you in a bit, but I'm feeling okay back at uni. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit because my camera's dying. Guys, my 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 neck is numb. My leg is so numb. But my room's tidy. My room is tidy. She is looking beautiful. She's always a bit cluttered. Like everything in this room is always a bit cluttered because there's not much room in this room. Also, this is actually like that is okay. Like that is all my rubbish ready to go out. It's not just like chucked there. My desk is so empty. I literally am editing this video and like you can see all of like the leftover food that I had on my desk. Like guys, I was struggling, okay? I was struggling. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to, I'm not excited to be back, I guess. Um, but I'm excited because I brought some new clothes with me. Not like new ones, but like from home. Like when you go home from uni and you get to like bring some different clothes back it's quite exciting it feels like I've got new clothes again so I've got I don't know if you can see there um that's my big long trench coat and I bought that last year or the year before but I just like never thought I could like make it look cool but it's because I was wearing it wrong like I was tying the ties actually around me like a dressing gown but that's not the way that you wear trench coats and I didn't know that but I'm loving them recently so I think I'm gonna wear that tomorrow um but it's currently 20 to 9 I'm just gonna take my magnesium um shall I show you what I'm doing at the moment so at the moment I'm not using the Nutri Advanced one um Yes, yeah, so my Nutri Advanced one is a magnesium biglycinate. But at the moment, I'm having this one, which is magnesium biglycinate. So that's big slate. But this one's got ashwagandha in as well, vitamin C, reishi mushrooms, chamomile, all very sleepy things. Um, yeah, whereas that. The Nutri Advanced one has got like all the B vitamins and stuff like that, but not like the natural herbs. And I love natural herbs. 
and this you put this in hot water it tastes like a hot chocolate like i had this in the middle of the day yesterday you're not meant to do that but i did it because i was like kind of anxious it changed the game i think i told you guys yesterday that i had some of this um but it literally is hot chocolate literally it's hot chocolate so i am going to i'll make it with you guys um i think it's just one of the it's got a little tiny scooper in it but i wish that it was it had a, like it was longer i don't know how to describe it but like you see how short the scooper is like you have to fish it out i'm gonna add some water i'm gonna have to go and heat this up in the microwave because that is uni life for you it tastes like hot chocolate um but yeah i can't really remember why i came on here but i just wanted to kind of say that i have been productive and i'm really really proud of myself because i don't feel like i've had one of these days in a long time just like mentally just like i feel a lot better today um i've not been like so hard on myself um and i've kind of just let myself get stuff done i think i said earlier when i spoke to you over there when i was like doing my suitcase but well, maybe i didn't no i didn't i've planned loads of videos today like i normally if i end up having like one video extra it's like oh great then tomorrow i don't really need to do that these i've done these ones is that the bottom i've done these like me doing that has taken such a big workload off me and it did take probably two hours if not more um and none of them are like talky maybe some of them are none of them are like talky ones like sciencey facts ones they're more just like the transition ones and stuff but like they're still really helpful to have but yeah i'm really going on tangents lately but um i think i'm gonna try and start waking up at seven um but tomorrow i might ease myself into it like a 7 15 7 30 just because i don't want to terrify myself and then be exhausted all of tomorrow i think i told you i did some work on the tube and stuff on the tube on the train um oh my god me walking around with that big fat suitcase was so embarrassing like i literally kept like almost falling over it um but yeah i'll talk to you in a bit hey guys it's now 25 to 10 the laptop has been closed <laughs> gosh the video has been finished editing i made a thumbnail and it's scheduled it's already processed so it's scheduled for this friday and now i just need to wash my face and get ready for bed i took a lot of my skincare home with me and this is so empty compared to last time like i could push all of this and have like all of this middle <laughs> sorry i got the hiccups all the middle empty but yeah some of the stuff I got sent in PR this week and you can tell that I um, like the look of the brand when I brought all three of the PR products here. Um, that Evercalm I'm testing at the moment on a big fat cyst on my shoulder which is super nice. This Ren um, essence is really good ingredients which is surprising for Ren because sometimes they're a bit over fragranced. I do like some of the products but some of them are a bit over fragranced. And I bought my zit stickers, like so many of them up there. But yeah, that was a bit random, but this is a bit of a state. It's not actually, it's just because I'm cleaning some dishes and stuff. But I will speak to you tomorrow, maybe. Um, it could be the next day, just when I'm kind of working on getting out of a rut. But I feel kind of good at the moment. Um, I feel like I've been very productive today and I'm ready to hit the hay. That rhymed, my poet, and I didn't even know it. Hey guys, so it is um, Monday morning. I woke up this morning at 25 past seven. Big sleigh, that was complete. I filmed a YouTube video this morning, which I literally just finished. And I filmed a TikTok this morning. Um, and I've been ticking it off in my new planner. Um, I'm really tired though, because obviously this is the first day of me like getting up earlier. Um, I I did feel a little bit more productive because obviously I've had more time to do stuff this morning but I'm definitely really tired oh. and I haven't actually done any uni work this morning um, which is written in my planner for me to do so 
I think I'm just going to sit on my bed and just have a little look through stuff. Maybe have a look through the slides for the lecture that I'm going to go to at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I've got about an hour and a half and I need to have a snack. But so far today I've been quite productive. The video that I filmed this morning was just like my morning routine. Because like I do film like clear skin morning routines on my TikTok. But they're literally a minute long and I felt like if I was going to, I don't know, start implementing stuff into my morning routine because of someone else that I watched. I feel like I'd need more of like a longer video for like more of an explanation. Um, and I went through like my supplements and stuff like that which people always ask me about. But yeah, so I think I'm just gonna sit down and try, <sighs> try not to go to sleep. Oh, I'm just going to try to chill. <sighs> and I'll talk to you in a bit. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning, it's very loud outside. Um, I've done some very exciting things this morning. I'm currently trying to get the girls bathroom tour tickets. As you can see, it's on my laptop and my phone. Currently not going that well because even when you join the session to buy them, I was literally there, like not in the queue, like got my tickets, but the page refreshes every 10 minutes. So I was kicked out before the time. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna get them because I'm still in the queue and they go on sale in three minutes. Um, but today I bought tickets to Australia. I went to Australia in December. Um, literally like just after Christmas I'm going and I'm coming back just before I start uni again in January. So I know I've got like assignments and exams in January, but I'm not thinking about it. I'm not thinking about it. But yeah, also my laptop is just so broken and I ordered a new laptop yesterday to pick up from the Mac store, whatever. And there's something wrong with my card. Like I'm in the process, this is so boring, I'm in the process, you know when like your card expires and they send you a new one, but like you've got two cards, it's like which one do I use? Well neither of them are working. So I don't know what to do and like my payment's on hold, but I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I've got uni, I need to leave for uni in probably like 20 minutes, which is fine. Um, yeah. Um, I haven't been very productive with uni stuff the past day, but that's because I've been booking flights. I've been booking, which was so stressful by the way. Um, I think my mum's still angry at me because <laughs> she makes me book flights on her credit card because my credit card doesn't have a, a, like enough of a limit for me to book on a credit card. And you're always meant to book flights and stuff on a credit card because apparently there's like more, what's the word? Like if there's an issue with your flights, you can go to your credit card company and they like there's a, there's a lot of security on the credit cards when you book it like that um compared to a debit card so she wouldn't let me use mine but i obviously then needed like her card details this morning first thing when she was really busy so she was a bit angry at me sorry Haley. it was so weird i leave to go to australia on the 27th of december i don't get that until the 29th I'm going out tonight though um for Halloween because it like it's the 31st of October so like it is Halloween today but obviously most people went out for Halloween um but yeah I'm going as Barbie sorry I'm just like staring to make sure that I'm not going through the queues um and I it's not it's not the most um interesting outfit to be honest I got this cute skirt it's actually a score which I'm really glad about because like going to a club in a skirt that's like short and like not tight as well is a bit I wouldn't be comfortable doing that. So it's a score. And then I've got this corset that I've had for ages, but she wears like a whole gingham dress um, in the Barbie movie, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna wear that instead. And then I need to wash my hair later and straighten it. I know, big fat task. And then I'm gonna put in, um, I've got ribbons. So I think I'm gonna do two little like, like half a half down, but like split into two. Um, with like little pink bows on but yeah so some interesting things have happened this morning well it's basically just the interesting thing is me booking a flight to Australia but like guys the vlogs in Australia like because this year obviously at the start of this year like for four months when I was traveling in Asia that was my summer like that was my summer I came back to England and then the summer was horrific like it was just raining and cold the whole summer and now I'm having three and a half weeks of summer in winter. Right, anyway, I'm gonna go to class now. Um, love you, see you tomorrow. Hey 
guys, morning. It is Wednesday the 1st of November and I think I spoke to you maybe yesterday morning before I went to uni when I was trying to get the girls bathroom tickets. I just got my Australia tickets. So I went out with my friend Alex, I dressed up as Barbie, very basic. I kind of looked like a ballerina as well. Um, it was giving it was giving ballerina energy with like my little bows in my hair. Um, I've probably been doing work for like 45 minutes, which is really good for me. Um, and I had to let my phone quite literally die. Can you see? She's dead. Um, I had to let it die to be able to do work. Um, and I think I'm gonna have to do that like every single time. Like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to let it die. Um, which is not, the, it's not the most ideal, but I've just been doing one of my assignments. Um, and I feel, I don't feel good about it. Like I'm really struggling with this assignment. Um, but the fact that I've been doing a little bit of it, like I can't show you because of like plagiarism, but it's basically on cardiovascular disease and I've got, I'm like arguing points for and against, which is why it's red and green. But this assignment has definitely been the hardest one that I've been doing and it's due on the 16th. You guys definitely don't care about this, but it's in like more than two weeks. Um, but I've got an assignment due this week, but that's been done for quite a while. I just need to sort out like the referencing and stuff. But this is really boring. Like you're definitely like Millie, I don't care. Yeah, I don't really know if I have anything else to update you on. I am about to put on a pimple patch because here, I've just put some spot cream on it. I've had like a couple closed comedians on my chin and they like take ages to surface and they're so painful when they do like this one surface like a week ago and I've got on carrying it here but this one is just surfacing so I'm gonna put on one of the Zitstilla killer patches but I love like I don't think it's that great for the environment to be fair but I think it's more, more sanitary like this is one killer patch in there oh god it's really to open and then <laughs> I just find it so funny and then the patch is like in there and you see like the little micro darts on it um, but yeah, I think I might do a bit of Australia planning, um, maybe look on Airbnb and stuff like that, um, because I go next month. Oh my God, I'm going next month. Th this time in two months, I'm going to be there. And this time in three months, I'm going to be back. That's crazy. Oh my God. I know it's just going to come so quickly, but that's why I want to like get on top of my uni work because I do have some stuff due like mid December, early January, like whilst I'm away. Um, but I want all of it done like around the time I break up um, for Christmas, which is in a month's time. So I can actually have a proper break for Christmas, really enjoy Australia and just be focusing on traveling and working um and like some extra reading which like i need to be doing i think i'm gonna do some planning as well for some content um so yeah i will probably talk to you guys in a bit but i'm doing okay it's going okay um my bed is made <laughs> as well which is the big fat sleeve from me Hi guys, this is super random, but I'm just about to call my nan and tell her that I'm going to Australia. Um, but she gets very scared about these kind of things, so I thought it would be funny to film it and just see what their reaction is, because I've told her I'm going to ring her. I um, booked tickets to Australia yesterday. Tickets to where? To Australia. Say it again. Australia. Uh Australia? Yeah. You got a ticket? Yeah. Um, for when? Uh, the 27th of December. Oh my god. Uh, has you only started then? No, it starts on the 22nd. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so you're travelling on your own? Yeah. And do you know where you're stopping? No. <laughs> no, I'll sort that before I go. Right, yeah? Oh, with me, if I was you. Yeah. Okay, Mum, sorry about it. 
I have quite literally just got out of bed. I haven't even looked in the mirror, which is probably a good thing because I think I'm breaking out. Um, and I should have got up literally an hour ago. I need to leave in 10 minutes um, and I need to get ready and have my breakfast and do everything. I just don't want to go to uni today. Like it's raining, it's cold, it's meant to be a storm. I'm breaking out, I don't want to put on makeup, I need to have my breakfast. I've got like two lectures and a group meeting today. But with all that being said, I'm gonna go to uni today and we're gonna get ready. So I'm gonna talk to you in a minute because I've got to rush and do this. As you can see, I just got completely ready. I've done all my makeup, but I don't think I'm gonna go. And that's not me being lazy. I think I'm gonna stay here and go through the slides on my own and make my notes on my own. The lecturer talks so fast, like I end up just kind of like getting lost when I'm sat in the lectures. Hey queens, I've decided I'm gonna do a little workout because I've just woken up and I fell asleep and it's now, it's 20 to seven, it's not even late to be honest, but I've decided I wanna do a workout because I'm thinking, even though like I feel tired right now because I've just got up from a nap, I feel like sometimes in that situation, exercise makes you feel more energized because it kind of wakes you up and it's like, you're being too sleepy. I like was doing, I did two lectures this morning went into uni, did a group project, and then did another lecture before coming home. So I am just tired, to be honest. Um, and I just posted TikTok. I don't know how well it's done, but it was my first one of the day, which is really abnormal for me because I'm trying to just post in the evening. Oh, it's done really well. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to do a little workout, but I'm literally, I'm going to do it right, right here, right here on the floor. Um, so it's going to be one that doesn't involve a lot of moving probably. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't know if this is filming right now but this is the gap that I was talking about where I'm basically starting a second video also called Get Out of a Rut With Me but I'm just adding it onto this video so it's the same thing that's happening but just like a week or two later but yeah, there we are. <laughs> guys, I know I look like a little bit of a state right now but um we are getting out of a rut together. I have literally filmed one of these videos already, but it was like over the course of a week and I didn't even post it. Hopefully I'll do that at some point. But yeah, so should we just have a bit of a chat first? Should we have a bit of a deep chat? Where can I put you? So lately I've not really been myself. Um, uh, it's, it's mostly been like the past couple of, I mean like, if you guys have like watched every one of my YouTube videos, you probably could have would have been able to tell I've been a bit like up and down um, mentally, which is absolutely normal, absolutely fine. Like, but it's been the past couple of days. I've just it's kind of been getting to me, um, and I've just got to the point where it's like half past three or something, and I'm just I was just like sat on my bed and I was like, I actually just need to I need to do something. I need to go somewhere. I need to get out of this little room um, because I think that like. Like, I, I do like my uni room and stuff, but with it not being, like, in central London, um, and, like, not in the safest of areas, to be honest, like, sometimes if I want to, like, some, I just don't really want to go out unless I'm, like, going into central because it just feels a lot safer. Um, I'm not sure if there's delays on, like, the tube lines, but I'll worry about that um, when I get there, but I contacted my therapist um, from home. And I'm going to speak to her on Monday on like a Zoom call. But I just really, it's like, I don't know what, you know when you just need to like snap out of something. But you just can't figure out how to snap out of it. And um, I just feel a little bit sad at the moment. But I'm going to bring you along with me literally just on like this afternoon and this evening. This evening? This, e this evening. <laughs> um, just because like... I always say this, but doing like a video really makes me ha like take accountability for like trying to feel a bit better. And I also wanna show you guys it's completely normal and like what people show on their social media is like everyone is struggling with something. I watched um, Zoella's or Zoe Sug, <laughs> you know, that's what she prefers to be called now. She did like an autumn, I don't know, it was an, like an autumn vlog with Mark. And in like that video they were talking about like mental health and stuff 
and it's so true like everybody everyone struggles saying so we're gonna be I want to be making myself feel better and hopefully you guys might get some inspiration of like if you're in a like struggling time um of like ways you can try and make yourself feel better so yeah today I've just kind of been trying to keep myself like just like feeling like all right um so I filmed like a fun video this morning that like I really wanted to do for a while like because I enjoy filming um so yeah I did that I've got like all my videos and stuff prepped um which is always quite nice because it takes off the stress because like I always post in the evenings but like sometimes I'll leave it till like the evening to even figure out what I'm gonna post and that's always a little bit like oh god um and I've just like had some YouTube on all day um but yeah, I I am very excited for the Christmas holidays and to go to Australia and uh, to get some sun because I often do consider like whether I do struggle like slightly with like seasonal depression because I, I don't know if I do because I it's not necessarily like the weather and like the fact that it's cold makes me sad. <laughs> like, it's not that. It's more just like around that time of year it just... You know or it could just not be that but i could do i don't know whether i want to get changed i think yeah i might get changed um and then i think i'm gonna go and get myself and maybe a little acai bowl maybe a little salad bowl i'm gonna take my laptop and i'm gonna do some uni work because i think also when i'm in this room for filming and in this room for like my online lectures and in this room um for my assignments I feel really unproductive in this space like I need somewhere else to go um and obviously like I'm gonna be here for a year so like I need to figure out like where I find that I'm productive because like when I was at home and used to study my mum always used to say to me like do two hours in your bedroom and then come into the kitchen and then go into um the lounge I don't know what people call it in different countries like the tv room I don't know like the dining room I don't know um but I'm someone that's always had to kind of move around to keep myself motivated. So I think I just kind of need a change of environment. Um, and maybe like a nice podcast. I've really, really, really been leaning on the girls' bathroom podcast. And when I started to feel a little bit wobbly, like a couple of weeks ago, I got their Patreon. Like, ex like there's an extra video every week on a Monday. And because I've had like so many to binge watch, I that's like really been helping me. Like whenever I'm going into the kitchen at uni, like I've got them on in my little headphones. But yeah, I just want to remind you, it's really normal if like any of you, if you guys are struggling, especially like with the colder weather and like the, sh the shorter days. And it's okay to feel upset whenever. You just need to make sure that you're talking to someone about it. Um. But yeah. So. I'm just going to show you things that I do to make myself feel more loved. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm sorry about the really strange lighting. I'm literally just about to go to bed, but I know I haven't really updated you. Like I've literally just filmed myself shopping and then that was it. But it's because it didn't go the way that I thought it was gonna go. And I want this to be a reminder. God, my lights. I want this to be a reminder that like, sometimes things just happen for a reason. Like what happened today was absolutely crazy. And like, you could tell how much in the last clip, like I just needed something to go well. So, Obviously, I packed up all my stuff, packed up all my work stuff, my uni stuff, to go to Attis. I don't know if I said I was going to Attis, which is, like, my favourite salad place. And I was searching the nearest one, and the nearest one was Notting Hill. So I got all of my stuff ready, headed there, got into Attis, and got, like, all of my favourite things in the bowl. I paid, and I went to sit down, and I was like, oh, like, downstairs is closed, and I normally sit downstairs. So I had to sit upstairs. And there were two girls sat in the whole of the restaurant, two girls. And I went I went over there because that's like the only place I could sit. And I was like, oh my God. And you guys will know them as like Skin with Soph and Faye's Skin on Instagram. But I met Soph at a number seven event like two weeks ago. Like I filmed, it was like my exciting week or something, that vlog. 
and like I've met her once and that was the only time I brand a van <laughs> obviously like no fave from Instagram like we both follow each other but I've never actually met her in person and like I didn't tell you guys a lot of why I was annoyed but it's very much to do with social media and I can't really say to be honest but there's just been like a lot of stuff that's not been going well and has been like completely out of my control and I've been finding it really frustrating but obviously like the, like talking about those frustrations like it's like you wouldn't talk to your f like your classmate that doesn't do biology and you do biology and talk to them about how difficult biology is because they wouldn't get it as much as your friend that also does biology so for me because no one does like the same job like around me it's really difficult to me to talk about like things that are going wrong anyway so it was like really just what i needed for these two girls that both do social media that are like are really really nice like both struggle with their skin like we like we all post our skin online and it was crazy that i just walked in to this restaurant in the middle of notting hill in the middle of central london at the most random time. i got there at five o'clock on a friday like when people are finishing work like rush hour like who that's why it was empty because no one goes in there like it shut at seven like it was the most random time and they just happened to be there and then um the food shop thing i went to whole foods um i basically so i was in notting hill and i was just thinking about how i went to whole foods i was like i want like a little nice healthy snack but you know and i didn't realize how close kensington was to notting hill um, and Kensington had a really nice Whole Foods. So I was like, you know what, let's just go to Whole Foods. Like, this is something I want to do. This day is for me and to try to make my mental health better. So I went to uh, Whole Foods. I got very carried away. Like, I had my whole big bag full and I had to get another bag as well. Very carried away. I did do a little um, food haul on... Well, I haven't posted it yet. I'm going to post it tomorrow on my TikTok. Um, I got, like, different mueslis. I got some plant milk, which is, like, really exciting for me because I never... The plant milks here are either oat, which is, like, a bit sketchy on whether it's gluten-free or not, or, like, I mean, the oats do anyway. But all of the milk have got, like, rapeseed oil or sunflower oil or, you know, some kind of oil and then, like, sweetness and stuff. And I don't want any of that. And then I got a really nice juice that was 750 millilitres and I, I drank it within an hour. Like, I was planning to have a shot of it every single morning because it was, like, ginger and lemon and turmeric. No, I drank it within an hour. So, I truthfully do love juices. Um, and I went around and looked at all the advent calendars and all of the little snacks. I got some chocolate bars. I got some, like, chocolate-covered almonds. I got... I got loads. I got salmon. I got my yogurt. I got my frozen berries. I got... Oh, my God. I got this almond butter, but it's almond butter with dates in but like the dates are like obviously like blended like so like you can't even see the dates but it's so it's so good but yeah it was just a lovely lovely experience it i had to do three different tubes to get back like i had to change three different times but it was really worth it um and i had my little headphones in i was listening to my little music i was listening to the spotify playlist songs to cry to in the shower <laughs> But I wasn't crying, so that's a big fat slay from me. There are so many songs on there that are in the Fault in Our Stars. And the Fault in Our Stars, like, even though I haven't watched it in probably, like, five years, like, I feel like that will always be my lifelong favourite movie. That's all. Have a lovely day, and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, I'll see you next week. But if you're on my TikTok or Instagram, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.